<laughs> Will Devon be hosting Eurovision next oh, year? Oh, very yeah. good. Oh, very oh. good. <laughs> Massive bidding war to get Eurovision. So as we all know, or as you should know if you've been listening to us. Yeah, as podcast, you all know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all Eurovision. Yeah, please explain like the background. Um, so Ukraine won Eurovision. Um, well, for reasons, who knows, right? Everybody What knows. do you mean? Total it was a good song, right? It was right? an all you right said song, <laughs> but it was a total For reasons that everybody knows Everybody about. knows it, okay. right? Eurovision is not supposed to be political. Totally is. UK came second. Their song was amazing, right? But they've come second, and they've said, well, we actually can't host Eurovision in a war zone. So Ukraine was supposed to host it as winner. They can't, so they've said, right, we'll let the UK do it. We'll give it a Ukrainian flavour instead. What does that mean? I didn't see that. Whatever that means. Okay. Absolutely. Blue and, blue no and yellow everywhere. We will see. Yeah, okay. We are yet to find out. But uh, now it's been confirmed that the UK is going to host it on behalf of the Ukraine because we can't, you can't actually have it in Ukraine because, you know. Yeah, because of the war. You, yeah. yeah, the war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any road. This chap here, um, well done, um, he, he came second and he's... Basically, he's flying the flag now and saying, you know, what, it's fantastic, we're getting it here. Um, but it's a bidding war now for yep. which city is going to be able to host it. Now, obvious, it, it, obvious London. is probably London. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a few other candidates in there as Manchester. well. For ta- perhaps Manchester. I'd like to see it in the north. Wouldn't that be good? Huddersfield. Oh, God, yeah, tell you what, if, <laughs> I tell you what, if John Smith Stadium got it, I'd be straight back home. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Birmingham, perhaps, you know, <laughs> Commonwealth Games, who knows? Maybe they could do get the double whammy. Um, so, so yeah, th- this is all very exciting for Eurovision it's fans. It's super exciting, isn't it's it? It's massive. <laughs> it has got a huge following as Eurovision, so don't shit can Eurovision. <laughs> um, however, I will say to anybody that's hoping to get tickets, it is hard work. As somebody who's been to a Eurovision before, right? Didn't you have to do like a daily quiz or yeah. something? Yeah, so you've got to join. And what two ways you can get it, you can join the massive queues. And when I say queues, I mean you're going to be like 30,000th in this queue. Sorry, physical queues? Or are you talking like an online, online queue? Yeah, oh, okay. we don't do physical queuing anymore. Come on, <laughs> okay, come on. sorry. Um, no, online queues. Yeah. You'll be on, you, you need to have six laptops in front of you and you yeah. need to be on the internet for eternity. Yeah. Or you can join a fan group, and the fan groups get certain allocations of tickets. Each fan group across around the world gets a certain allocation of tickets. So I'm in the Aussie group, and uh, basically, is, it, what's, is there any prerequisites of joining a fan group? Do you have to? Oh, you got to pay. You like, have to well, pay. You've got to pay like like thirty bucks. Right. Okay. Right, membership, and yep. you've got to start like basically earning points over the oh course God, of that year. Know. Uh, to be on the list and the more points you get the higher up the list you go and the first say 200 will get a ticket okay uh, the chance to buy tickets you don't get them for free you've got to pay for them yeah yeah right okay. and if, if somewhere like Israel you, you're going to pay a fortune how do you gain points um, you gain your points by doing challenges and these could be things like guess a song Right. It could be like, perform a Eurovision song oh on camera. God. Oh, it's all these NAF challenges, right? I've done them all. <laughs> it's insane. I did them all and missed out on tickets, right? It's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that says and about you. I still want to join the online queue. <laughs> and it cost you $30 in membership. And it cost me $30. Bucks. <laughs> but it was the fun of it, I can say. Yeah. Uh, or Sounds you can join fun. the queue. But, you know, there are other options as well as the live show that you see on TV. There's the jury show, which is how it's, that's the one that's, the, you know when they uh, you haven't watched Eurovision, have you? But there's a judges vote basically, and they do a special show just for the judges. Okay. And they also have a, like a dress rehearsal you can pay to go and see as well. So they make a lot of money out yeah, of it. A lot like of people it. follow Eurovision. I know you laugh, and I know everybody in the UK will be laughing, but I reckon like that's uh, everybody will want to go to that. I just think, imagine spending a year trying to get some points to watch 25 NAF songs sung, <laughs> sung in the John Smith Stadium in Huddersfield. <laughs> <laughs>